this is Divya Pandit, your tarot card reader, spiritual healer and life coach. So today I am going to be more of a life coach than a tarot card reader. Why? I will tell you. Because this video I am making on the basis of the feedback and on you know the comments I get on Facebook and YouTube. And I also have I have been dealing with a lot of clients with this issue. People have so many money blocks, they have relationship blocks, they have blocks where I see girls running, 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 running after one man and that man is always treating you very, very badly. Even this happens for boys also, for men also, but more with women that I have come across. So I feel that this is all related to your own self-worth. So today this video I will be talking about self-worth, your own confidence, how to build your confidence. Why? Because I myself am a self-made person. I have built my confidence, I have increased my self-worth and today I am what I am. So today I want to talk about this topic because I have been facing lot of clients and lot of girls especially who are really not treating themselves well who are running after some things that they feel are unachievable. They are all uh, into like not only women I am talking about, not only girls I am talking about, but I am also talking about you know uh, people who want to achieve something but they are not achieving. I have messages and phone calls from people who are asking me that we don't have a social life, people don't like us. So I want to ask such people this question, do you like yourself? Well, if you don't like yourself, how will people like you? First, we all think that we are in very good state of mind, we have everything right, we have money, we have this, we have that, but still we don't have the things that we want to achieve. The reason is your own self-worth and your own self-confidence. Here I see people who are trying to fit into their friends, especially I will say these days youngsters who are trying to fit into a group and just to fit into that group they want to please everyone, they want to make everybody happy, they want all the attention on themselves, I want attention, I want attention, I want. but in that attention seeking uh, state of mind of whether uh, you want attention from your friends, you want attention from your family, you are forgetting that, you are doing and pleasing others just because you want everybody's attention, right? Also, in that whole process, you are lost. You are totally lost. You are, I will, I will say you are not yourself at all. Be yourself. This is the quote I always put on my Facebook. I always tell people, love yourself, be yourself. But how? I don't know who I am. How will I be myself? I'll tell you story of a girl. She was born in a very nice family. She had good parents, but she did not learn how to be self-worthy. Why? Now, I don't want to blame people, but basically this all stems out from our ancestors, from our family backgrounds, from our friends. See, here we are not here to blame someone or I'm not trying to blame parents and grandparents and our whole family tree. But definitely this is our inner child problem. This stems, um, stems from our ancestors itself. Somewhere, some woman, some man in the family has felt less about themselves and that has been carried on. Because they are our elders and we learn from them. So what happens is what they do, we do. Sometimes these imprints as I call them, as I am also a, you know, a medium and I have a whole team of mediums where we deal with a lot of subconscious level, we do a lot of energy healing where we put in anybody's energy into one of my mediums and then we know where the problem is coming from. So these imprints as I call are coming from way behind, way far away, we can't even imagine. These imprints could be coming from a great grandfather, could be coming from a father, could be coming from God knows, uncle, aunt, don't know, we really don't know. There are, there are situations where self-worth issue, confidence issue starts only from your womb level, when the child is in mother's stomach, in the mother's womb 
and from there this whole thing starts. So now what do we do? We have to deal with it, right? We are always procra procrastinating that we are going to do this, we are going to th do that, but we do not do. We are always wanting to fit into a group of friends which we can't, so we start pleasing them, we start running after them. We also do this with our own family, with our own friends, with our own parents. We are always trying to please, but we are not fitting in any way. There is no confidence level anywhere. This whole issue of confidence comes from your own self-worth of being you. So what should we do? It's a difficult situation and it's easier said than done. It's easier said than done because right now I'm here making a video and I'm asking you to do something and you will start doing it. That is not possible. First, you have to understand. I feel such people or that young girl, I will tell you story of a young girl who was a child from a good family as I started, okay, as I started. I told you there was a young girl who had a very good family who loved her, cared about her, but she did not have a confidence of being herself, right. So what happened? What happened is whatever she did was wrong, whatever she did was laughed upon. Whatever she, she had friends who took her for granted since her childhood and the only word she heard was you are dumb. She doesn't have brains. She had a little uh, problem with dyslexia and she had, but she had a lot of intelligence, intuition in creative areas. That thing was never recognized. So what happened to her? She developed an inner child issue where she felt, started feeling at a very young age that she is worthless. And that is where her confidence started going down in life, where her life turned out to be the most horrible life you can ever see. She married the wrong person because she had no confidence. She did not have a career. She was miserable in her married life and so on. So what do we do? Whatever we hear about ourselves from our parents, from our, you know, friends, not always I will say parents, but sometimes circumstances like being in school, being teased upon, being, you know, uh, teachers putting you down and there are so many reasons where these things trigger and come to you. So many reasons, right? Where we don't come to know that what we actually are. What am I? I am something that is made up of judgment. The judgment that has been given by my teachers, my school friends, my parents. Parents, why? Because parents have expectations. Okay? I am a idol of expectations for my parents. I am something what my friends have told me. I am something what my teacher has told me. That girl, I am just giving that girl as an example, that girl was full of that. And that is why end of time when she grew up, finally when she was a teenager, she made a judgment about herself. I am ugly, I am dumb, I have no brains and other people know more than me. So like that girl, there will be thousands of girls, thousands of boys who will be making that judgment about themselves. So I want to ask, are you the one who, are, who is making a judgment about yourself? This is why I made this video. I don't want anybody to be judging themselves. See, here we think that people are judging us. People are so judgmental. This is the dialogue we always say. But Though that judgment is a mirror image of your own self. You are judging yourself, that is why people are judging you. Where in my childhood I was judged and put down and I was never said one nice word or maybe nobody ever encouraged me. So I made a judgment about myself that I am dumb. I am, I can't write, I am not capable. I can't dance. These are all judgment. I'm not, I'm not good at anything. I have so many people tell me, 
I am not good at anything. How can you not be good at anything? It is because you have not found you. Anybody you meet in your life, like that girl met the wrong man in her life, was exactly the mirror image of her own judgment about her own self that she was projecting. She was projecting her own judgment in that man. And that man kept judging her even more, even more, even more till her life was just very miserable. So when you don't have your own self-worth, when you don't have confidence, your confidence is connected to your self-worth. And your self-worth is the most important thing in the world. So now when the damage is done, when everything in your life or circumstances or anything that has caused you to not have confidence, to not have that you know, self-worth in your life, so not to love yourself, now what to do? Then now you are going to change. It is easier said than done. Like I said, changing any change comes with a price. Any change is not easy. But we can start taking small little steps to change our confidence, to change our self-worth, our unworthiness. I do a lot of healings for unworthiness. And the minute I change the person's unworthiness, the person's money will open, the person's relationship will get better, family life will get better. There are so many things that start changing after you change your self-worth. Okay? We face a lot of relationship blocks, money blocks, even though there are times that we realize that our self-worth is a problem. Okay? My self-worth is a problem, suppose. But I will not, not, not leave it. Why? Because of my ego self. Because the judgment I have made, you know, about me. I am not going to leave that judgment because my ego will not let it leave. That is also one of the very big blocks. Like I, it's also, see, like it's a mirror image, like I said. Now today, I have faced all this in my life and I myself have become very judgmental. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start judging others. In my mind, maybe I'm not saying it. So what happens? In return, again, a mirror stands in front of me. That person is starting to judge me. It's always the energy is thrown from your own subconscious. I, I have put a quote on Facebook. I don't know whether you all are on my Facebook or on my Instagram, but I do pu keep putting quotes. And in one of the quotes I had put, if you think that people are jealous of you all the time, then that is the energy you are throwing. You are actually throwing an energy of jealousy because when you are jealous of others, you feel people are jealous of you. So if you are judging yourself, people are judging you. If you are doing certain things, people are doing it to you. So you are always mirroring everything in your life. Every thought, emotion, feelings, everything you are mirroring. I am an attention seeker. I want all the attention in the world. Good. But I don't want anybody else to get the attention. So what do I do? I become jealous. And when I become jealous, what happens? Other people are jealous of me. So it is the energy I am throwing, right? So self-worth and confidence comes from inside of you, your own inner child issues, your own problems, your own uh, you know, uh, background that you have gone through, the past that you have gone through. So now we can take small little steps towards how to change our confidence and self-worth. Your confidence can be changed by a lot of things. First, this first step you are going to take is first find yourself. Now you will tell me, there are people who tell me, ma'am, how, how do we find ourselves? You have to find yourself by looking inwardly. Looking inward means centering yourself, going within yourself, going within your thoughts and asking yourself, what would I like to be? What do I like to be? Would I like to lead the life I am leading? Now one cannot just suddenly change your life while you know not being married or uh, leaving a job or you know you can't just suddenly make those changes. But you can definitely go inside yourself and ask yourself what is it that I like to do? 
What is it that I want to be like? Do I want to behave the way I am behaving? Do I want to be one of those people who are who's a people pleaser all the time pleasing others? Or do I want to be to myself and take a stand and say no, enough. To get to that point, you will have to take small, small steps doing things for yourself. When you start a day in the morning, you get up, you have your tea, you have your breakfast. Take time off every day, 15 minutes, half an hour every day just to do what you like. What you like? You like to just lie down and not do anything? Do that because that is what you are doing for yourself. You want to go and take a walk? Do it. You want to watch, sing, do anything that you feel like, dance, do anything that you want to do, that you think it is important, do that. That is first little small step that you will take towards yourself. This is what I want to do. I am not going to please everyone. So this half an hour or this one hour is just for me. Not for my family, not for my children, not for my boss, not for anyone. Even in I see in corporate settings, in workplaces where, where employees are all the time pleasing their boss is because their own self-worth is not in place and that is why they attract a boss who is all the time wanting their attention, wanting them to please them. It does, it does happen when you are not confident, you don't have self-worth, so you will always, then you will always attract a boss who will always make you dance. So you have to put your, stand your ground. Now in a job, maybe you cannot do it, you might get fired, but slowly, slowly with small little steps, you can walk there. Maybe the boss might change, maybe the job might change and you might be in a better setting. Anything can happen. Today, if I repair my self-worth and my confidence, my boss will change. Today, if I repair my self-worth and confidence, my husband will change. My sisters might change. My friends might change uh, towards me. But always in the beginning, when this change is going to happen, this transformation that is going to happen within you will always create an imbalance of energy. That imbalance of energy will come from people telling you, oh my God, what's wrong with you? Why are you behaving like this? Because they are not used to you being confident. They are not used to be you being, you know, uh, you having a self-worth. They are not used to it. So in the beginning, people are always going to tell you, oh my God, look at her. She has attitude because this has happened with me. When I lifted my confidence and self-worth, people started disliking me because they liked that part of me which was more pleasing, more soft, more, you know, uh, telling the other people, oh, it's okay, it's okay. But now I do not say that. Now I will never tell people it's okay. It is not okay. You have to have that stand in your life where people who will like you will be, will be with you or they leave. Your confidence depends on your own self. The second step I will want to tell you is that what you are going to do every day after you shower in the morning, you are just going to go and stand in front of the mirror. When you stand in front of the mirror, you are going to admire yourself. You are going to say hi to yourself. You are going to admire each and everything that you have beautiful on your body, be it a man or a woman. You can admire each and every good points about your body and how you stand and how you look and how you talk. You can even have a self-talk over there. Stand in front of the mirror, talk to yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are. Tell yourself how wonderful you are. Tell yourself that what all qualities you like in you. The qualities that you like in you, you have to mention at that time. You have to admire your body. You have to watch your body language. The day my self-confidence, me, myself, I never had confidence 10 years back. When my self-confidence changed, I have been noticing that my body language has changed. I, the way I sit, the way I talk, the way I behave with people has totally changed. And 
in the beginning many people did not like it but now the same people are sitting and ha they have praises for me because they can see the transition and the way I hold my ground the way I say no this is the way I am and this is what I am take it or leave it so what you are going to do is stand in front of the mirror admire yourself in the mirror see all the good points that you have on your body compliment yourself here we are talking about self-talk. So we are going to talk to ourselves. Talking to ourselves. I am talking to myself. In front of the mirror. Hey beautiful, how beautiful you are. I love your eyes. I love your feet. I love this, this about myself. I am just giving you an example. I love everything about myself. When you are into self-love, eventually, slowly, Steadily, your self-confidence is going to come back. In fact, this video is also very beneficial for kids. All girls who are above 10 years or maybe 8-9 years should see this video because everybody, I am not just talking about girls because I am more of a feminist, so I am talking about girls. But even boys, they can, everybody can watch this video. And believe me, from childhood, if you are into self-talk, or self-analysis, you will never be in low in confidence. You will never have a uh, worthiness issue. Never ever have worthiness issue. So the third thing I would like you all to do is, I would like you all to take walks. Why walks? I'll tell you. When you're walking alone, I'm not asking you to go for a walk with a friend. I want you to go for walks every evening, every morning, whatever time convenient to you. Go for a walk in a park or anywhere and start being just in yourself. You want to hear music? Hear music. You want to just walk and watch the scene around? Do that. Talk to yourself. Be within yourself. See what your likes and dislikes are. That is also one of the very beautiful things that you can do. Very important points that you can do to actually have a you know, to center yourself, maybe to be yourself. When nobody is around you and you are just yourself, you will actually have a lot of realizations that what I like and what I dislike. Start taking walks just by yourself alone and you will see the change in you. You will actually see the change in yourself. That self-talk and that walk with your own self, if you live uh, besides a lot of nature, a lot of garden and parks, please go there and just spend time over there. You have to take time off to talk to yourself and be within you. Self-confidence does not just come with affirmations or maybe I am also going to uh, tell you a switch word. But just by saying the switch word or just by uh, saying an affirmation or just by taking some healing, it does not work. Healing works. I do give self-worth healings. But all the self-worth healings all relate to your childhood. Whenever I give a self-worth healing to someone or I give a healing for confidence, it's all related to childhood. Either the parent or some father has been very strict or something, something, something turns up. It could also be abuse. It could be anything. It's the way people have treated you. So this self-talk is very, very important. This watching yourself in the mirror is very, very important. This time off to yourself is very, very important before you say any kind of switch word or anything that you want to manifest. I have mentioned this very strongly in all of my videos that whatever you want to do, whatever you want to manifest, you have to do some kind of chakra cleaning, you have to do affirmations, you have to talk to yourself and then you go ahead and do what you want to do. That is why for some people it works. And for some people, it doesn't work. Okay? You have to tell yourself every day before you sleep, I love and accept myself. What will you say? I love and accept myself. This is the first tip I'm giving you. I love and accept myself. I am worthy of all the good things universe is providing me. I am ready to receive, I am open to receiving. This is, I will be definitely putting it in the description box. So, I 
I am worthy of all the good things that the universe has to provide me. I am open to receiving. I am open to change. Right? You should be ready to change. I am open to change. This is what you have to say every night 11 times just before you sleep. After you say this, you are going to do. Another option for this, I am not saying just do after this, but another option I am giving either you say this or either or, or you are going to do Ho Opono Pono, which is a Hawaiian prayer. I am sure everybody knows about it. Thank you, I love you, please forgive me, I am sorry. So, this is this thing you are going to say not to someone, you are going to say it to yourself. But because here you are asking for forgiveness for judging yourself. Here you are asking for forgiveness for not being kind to yourself. You judged yourself. You cause, called yourself dumb. You called yourself that I am an angry person. Again a judgment. I am a loser. Again a judgment. I am a bad dancer. Again a judgment. Anything that you are judging yourself, you are basically abusing yourself. You are going to say sorry to your own subconscious. And release that bad karma towards yourself by doing ho apono puno. Okay? You are going to say every night keep one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach like this. And you are going to tell your subconscious, acknowledge your subconscious. I am acknowledging my subconscious. Okay? I am just putting an intention. I am acknowledging my subconscious and I am saying thank you. I love you. Please forgive me. I am sorry. Every day 11 times. This will actually, in, I will say, in a week's time, you are going to see the difference. This has to be done for 21 days. You are going to do Ho Apono Pono 21 times every day. Or you are going to say that affirmation which I mentioned, that I am worthy of all the good things in life. I beat me, you ask me, I am going to do Ho Apono Pono because I truly, truly, truly believe in it. It's a very beautiful thing. These are just four lines which are so simple. But I have seen the major changes that this prayer can make. Okay. Now I am going to talk about two switch words. The first one is elate crystal horse. Believe me, my students who come to me for tarot card reading, learn tarot card reading and Reiki and many other things that I teach, crystal healing and numerology and you know, Dia Magic and Talisman, which I am going to start again uh, a new group on 2nd of August, the Talisman group. It's a WhatsApp workshop. Please do join in. Uh, I am going to, uh, like Dia Magic also, my third group is on. So, definitely if you want, do do get in touch with me. Any of the courses people chill, who my, I actually call them my children, they come to learn from me. There are many students in that in that. Uh, you know, many students who come to learn tarot, who come to learn this, that, but they don't have the confidence to take it forward. And I make them chant elate crystal horse, elate crystal horse every day, 21 times for 21 days. And believe me, one of my students who was, who is a yoga instructor, he has changed his life after chanting this switch word. Believe me, in one month, he learned tarot card reading from me and he's already practicing it professionally. He chanted the switch word. Of course, he learned from me because I'm, I also have a very different way of teaching because I make sure that person learns thoroughly and properly. So that child actually started doing it professionally. He's actually doing readings for everybody and I'm so proud of him. So, so proud of him. So elate crystal horse is chanted by, by most of my students and it actually has given them a lot of self-worth, a lot of self-love and they are really very confident of what they are doing. The second switch word I will give you is elate crystal chuckle. It is elate crystal chuckle. Elate crystal chuckle is a switch word to actually let go of all the old baggage and start something new and lift up your energy. Basically, elate crystal chuckle actually lifts up your energy and your whole uh, subconscious level. The uh, self-worth issue 
the confidence issue, it actually lifts it up. So, you can either put this into an energy circle, okay. You can write down this uh, switch word and write your name in it and stick it anywhere near where you can see it every day or you can write it on your body, you can write it on your left side. Left side you can write, even if you write on right side it won't make a difference. So, do not get worried, write it on your left side with a red pen, every day you need to write it down. But the best way I feel is you just write it in an energy circle and stick it somewhere so that it keeps working and chant it before you sleep. That is the best way to use the switch word. So, these are few steps where you can actually build your confidence, you can build your self worth and do whatever you want to do in life like that person wanted to be a tarot card reader or somebody wants to be a dancer or something that you have yet to discover about yourself. Something fun, something you always wanted to do, something that you love because I am in a profession that I absolutely love. I love being a YouTuber, I love being a spiritual healer, I love being a tarot card reader and that is my confidence. So, I hope you rise your confidence and this video helps you to move forward in life. That is all for today and do subscribe to my channel, more coming up, more videos, more, 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 lots more. So, do subscribe, please do write uh, down comments because I do read them, I do reply to them however time permits. Do go and like my Facebook page, there are a lot of updates over there, there are information about my WhatsApp courses which is starting uh, again on um, 2nd of August, the Talisman course and I'm, there, there's Dia magic, there is candle magic, there is a lot of co WhatsApp courses you can take as everybody, my viewers are all over the world, so WhatsApp suits the most. So, email me for personal paid appointments only, you can take my number for my Facebook page also where you just call me for personal paid appointments. That is all for today, goodbye, God bless.